Uh, Nervins are shredded here at the Spitfire Ground this evening, but it's good news the Spitfires are through to the semi finals of this year's Royal London One Day Cup after a victory against Gloucestershire. Sam Billings is the Fitzgerald Jewellers Man of the Match. Earlier, he was the Royal London Man of the Match, winning this bottle of bubbly, and now he gets the Fitzgerald Jewellers voucher to go along with it. Now, very nervy old game. The Final margin of victory looks comfortable. It didn't seem that way for a long time. Yeah, I mean, fair play to uh, Gloucester. They stuck in there. And, uh, you never, in this form, you never kind of feel as if you're completely um, safe. Really, I mean, with that extra man in the uh, in the inner circle. So, no, yeah, fair play to the boys at the end. No, so still uh, a few grey hairs popping for them already. So, <laughs> join the club. So, yeah. Join the club. Have you got a special uh, Royal London bat this year? The blades working so well in this competition. I have. I have. Actually, got a new bat from uh, Grey Nick, so, uh, so yeah, it's going well. And you knew your own stats, 61 of what is it, 36 balls, but in all seriousness, there was some impetus needed at that point of the innings. Oh, yeah, it's one of those that you come in, we're just in a bit of a sticky patch, and yeah, if, if someone comes off, and um, it really com completely transforms the game. So, so it just happened, it happened, made a contribution, and we got the win. Batting first, was it one of those pitches you not quite sure exactly what a good score is? It didn't look easy to score at all, really. No, it was. Um, I actually think it skidded on a bit better under lights, actually. But uh, we knew that 225, anything, anything north of 225, we, we're, we're in with a really good shot. So, uh, yeah, no, it was just good. And actually, if we were being ultra critical, we should have probably got through and uh, probably actually got 260 or something like that. So, uh, so yeah. I'm sure Sam Northeast will be disappointed to get out when he did, but he anchored the innings really well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's one of those him and Fabian Cowdery set it up for uh, people like myself to come in and just express myself. So, uh, without those two crucial knots, um, yeah, it would have been a really tough go. Now, how about the bowlers holding their nerve there? I mean, Ben Harmison has been the secret weapon, as I said to Keezy a few weeks ago. He's been superb since he started turning his own over in limited overs cricket. Yeah, he's been fantastic. And it's, it's, well, I'm really happy for him because he's, he's worked so hard on it and uh, kept plugging away. It's been, uh, it's been brilliant. And, of course, it's now Warwickshire away on Thursday. They're not the Birmingham Bears anymore. They're Warwickshire once again for this competition. I suppose it doesn't really matter at this stage, does it? Every team's a good team. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, we'll go there with full of confidence. I mean, we've beaten a good side here. We've been looking at our group. We've beaten a lot of good sides. Durham, um, on course maybe, arguably, to win against Knotts. And we've, we've been in I mean, Somerset and uh, Surrey as well. We've beaten two very, very good sides. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go there with Philip Hinton. I'm sure you'd rather play at home, but being away, does it take a little bit of the pressure off in some ways? Yeah, I mean, the wickets here, fair play to the groundsman, it's been a hell of a week cricket on here. Um, I mean, in terms of the cricket wicket, Edgebaston is probably one of the best in the country. 2020 finals day, was sensational, so... Um, yeah, we're just going to go there, and um, we've got plenty of match winners in our side, and we'll go there with full of confidence. OK, so that's coming up this week. Kent away at Warwickshire in the semi-finals of the Royal London One Day Cup after victory in this quarter-final against Gloucestershire. This man's bat is red hot. He's the Fitzgerald Jewellers' man of the match, Sam Billings. So.